Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. 007 here. Welcome to day seven. Today is much nicer than yesterday. Yesterday it rained all day, soaked all night. Everything in my tent, uh, it's just a mess. So today I'm doing 9.6 miles. I'm gonna stay, stay at uh, Deep Gap Shelter. I was at, uh, I think I called it Cheese Steak. It's actually a Cheese Factory campsite. And um, yeah, and we'll take it from there, but thought I'd take a video of this uh, right here on the top. It's just beautiful up here. I was thinking maybe I should repeat trail names on here just so you see how colorful some of them are. So this morning I seen uh, Trail Buddha um, and there was a harmonica uh, and then the last one a dude big guy uh, his name was Tinkerbell because he walks up the mountains like a fairy. <laughs> uh, see, I still have entertainment out here too. So, I should give you a body update. Means I had double knee replacement and, and I am old. So, let's see. Let's start with back's a little sore. Not too bad. Uh, but I am keeping an eye on it um, My knees Do all right uh, Struggle a little bit going downhill they get a little sore from that but no kind of soreness that I can't deal with I am monitoring my knees for certain kind of pains you know that uh, That I think is a bad sign because I won't uh, I won't keep going if I think my knees are gonna um, gonna fail me somehow because where the replacements are into the bone you know, I can't afford for something to go wrong there normal knee pain that most people feel I shouldn't feel that because that's all metal or titanium or whatever it is but for the most part during my day Thinking about my knee pain, there is nothing to think about really, because um, my biggest concerns right now, and they're not big concerns, but I, my left foot is good. Uh, my right foot, I have a blister under my big toe that can't seem to get right, and I've had it since uh, the third day, I think. And then on my right foot as well, when I go down hills, I guess my toe box isn't quite big enough. So my little toe gets jammed in there. He ain't too happy. So, dealing with that. Now, we'll tell you, coming downhill today, it felt better. It might have something to do with the fact my boots got soaked yesterday walking. <laughs> and maybe I'm stretching them a little bit, just enough. I have put moleskin on both my big toe and uh, my little toe just to kind of cushion a little bit but and for the most part they're feeling fine once I get walking I don't really think about them much um, able to handle that and that's pretty much it so seven days in and I think I'm doing pretty good yep still gorgeous out here beautiful day uh, temperature is 58 degrees Blue sky, got to look through the trees, I know. I guess it's good on this time of the year. If the leaves were on the trees, you wouldn't see stuff like that. But trail's going down, which means it's going to go back up. I was just thinking about other trail names of people I've met so far. I mean, we got Odie, who I started with, and Toothless, uh, old Marine, love him. Uh, Hootie, who hiked with us for a day or two. 
uh, canary, chef, iron man, um, uh, oh, not Hulk, uh, Thor, iron man, Thor, NASA, um, who is he, uh, Eeyore, uh, so many, it's just hard to remember them all, but, so those that think I'm alone out here, I am not, and there's a lot of them I don't remember their name or haven't talked to them that my, that much, but they're out here. Thought of some more names: Six Pack, Monarch, uh, Stan the Man. Can't forget him. Actually, I just talked to him a second ago. Um, then there's uh, these two Germans. They were walking along, and I tried to name them yesterday because we were in the same campground. Bumped into them several times. And I said, how about Hans and Franz? <laughs> they didn't like it. So they still don't have a name. But I've got a lot of other people I met. I just don't want to say their real name here. But I keep thinking about the ones I've left out. I don't want them to. I don't want them to watch the channel and say, "Hey, he forgot me." <laughs> so I just passed by Trail Buddha and Happy Smiles. That's another one I hadn't remembered. And they passed me this morning when I was packing up my camp. I guess Happy. That's what I call her. Happy is jumping off because she twisted her ankle. And she's struggling. Just made me realize. I mean, it doesn't take much. And it, the amount of rocks and roots and everything here. I mean, you really got to be careful. So, yeah, hope she does well. So there it is. Last big climb of the day. Whoo! It looks pretty tall from here. <laughs> I got to tell you. Tree Mountain was earlier, it's taller, but that still looks tall. Well, it looks like we made it. Nine point, I don't know, one something miles today. Deep gas shelter. I'll wrap this up in a bit. All right, everybody, I'm gonna wrap up day seven. Um, so day seven, really the highlight of the day was Trey Mountain and Kelly Knob. Um, they, Trey Mountain topped out at 4,430 feet and Kelly Knob at 4,134. And both of those climbs took a lot out of me. <laughs> so as you recall, yesterday I went 13.3 miles because uh, where I had planned to camp with the rain and the wind just didn't work out. So I ended up camping at the Cheese Factory campground. I think I've called it Cheesecake Factory, Cheese Steak Factory campground, Cheese Steak campground. I've called it everything, but it's the Cheese Factory campground because there used to be a Cheese Factory there years and years ago. You can't, there's nothing there now, but um, yeah, so I started at Cheese Factory uh, campground, um, ended up here in Deep Gap Shelter. Uh, it's starting to fill up now. Oh, it was a 9.4 mile day, so right now I'm at uh, 65.8 miles into the AT. I wanted a short day today because after the rain yesterday, I just needed everything to dry out. I mean, everything was soaked, and, and I've accomplished that. Uh, but I will tell you, after that 13 mile day yesterday, I sure can feel it. And uh, I'm going to keep that in mind tomorrow. I got a 15 mile day planned tomorrow, but I might try to chop that up a little bit if I can so so that I'll deal with that tonight when I'm planning that out um, my my blood sugar this morning was 114 so pretty good but at lunch be, right before lunch it was 122 and that was a little troubling to me because the only things I've had through the day other than water uh, was a keto brick and a, a sugar-free Jolly Rancher so one of those two is raising my blood sugar. Um, it wouldn't bother me if it was that keto brick because man, that, that thing is tough to stomach. Um, 
The only other real problems I'm having right now, just no appetite. Uh, yeah, I struggle to, you know, with the food I have to want to eat anything, um, which I know isn't good. And everybody says, oh, the hunger, the hiker hunger will come. Well, I kind of needed to get here because uh, I just, I mean, I'm, I'm just not hungry. Um, I mean, I, I'm making myself eat, but <clears throat> a lot of times my stomach's a little upset after that because I'm like, ah, I didn't want to eat anyway. I, I don't know why I am. I mean, I'm thirsty. I'm drinking water. I'm doing that. But, uh, yeah, it's about my only really issue uh, other than what I described earlier with, you know, a blister and, and uh, some other little things like that. Nothing crazy. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, if you like what you see, please give it a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.